Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. We have here a life-saving device. That's right, a sprinkler head for fire suppression. We're going to have a look, see what makes it chooch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> As I just demonstrated, these are quite robust. And yet, all they need is a little bit of heat. And uh, they, they open the valve and let the water out. Okay, so we'll have a look here with the... <laughs> the finest high-speed Japanese potato uh, 700 Kanakistan Kopex can buy. It's not the greatest resolution, I know, but it ain't the size of the axe, it's how you swing it. Looking at the construction of this, this is a cast brass part with a copper cap. And we can see all the accreditations and safety certificates. This one's rated for 65 dungarees uh, science. However, I, I would have thought with all these accreditations, these things would be super expensive. You know, I figured maybe 40 bucks a piece. No, they're $5 a piece. Incredible. Economy of scale. Incredible. And competition. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to see how this actually works by putting in some water, pressurizing it, and then heating it up. Okay, we'll get the dick and the vise. Now we'll get the lighting fingered out. Perfect. And we'll get the high-speed camera set up. We'll see what happens to this thing. That didn't take about a couple seconds for this thermostatically controlled hydraulic valve to actuate. What really blows my mind is look at the bore on that. That's about a half an inch. Half an inch. I had the compressor up just as much as it'll suffer, 120 psi. Half an inch. Okay, pi r squared. So that's a quarter of an inch is the radius. And square that. Well, we go one quarter times one quarter is one sixteenth. One sixteenth is 0 0.625 thou so that means 6.2 percent 0 0.6.2 percent no six yeah 6.2 percent times pi that's a little tough to do but 120 pounds six percent of that uh, is half of 12 pounds so say five six pounds we'll say five pounds times pi times three 15 pounds so between 15 and 20 pounds that that tiny little glass vial can withstand and I'm sure it can withstand a hell of a lot more than that incredible ubiquitous and cheap piece of engineering right there thanks for watching keep your dick in a vice